welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we are going to be making these cute little peep racing cars for Easter. So Easter's tomorrow, guys, so if you go out and get these supplies now, you'll have time to do this. So anyway, let's show you how to make these. Ha <laughs> ha, vroom vroom. Okay, guys, so let us show you the stuff you're gonna need. First up, you are obviously going to need Twinkies. You are also going to need a packet of peeps. You could use the rabbits or the chicks and whatever color you'd like. Then you are going to need something to make the wheels of the car. So we found these at Target and they're made by the company Wilton. I'm sure you could find these at craft stores, supermarkets, but we found these at Target. They're icing decorations. So basically these little flowers are made of icing and you can eat them, but they're, they're cute and we got them because they're round. So we're going to use these for the steering wheel and also for the wheels. You could also use any type Type of cookie that is round mini Oreo cookies would be great for the wheels and a lot of pictures that you see online they actually have um, the steering wheel made out of pretzels and I'll insert a picture right here so you can see what that looks like an extra thing that you could use is these little decorations. Now these are little flowers, so it's perfect for spring and Easter, but if you wanted to put any type of sprinkles on your car or candy or anything to decorate the car, that would be cute as well. So we're gonna be using these spring uh, pastel colored flowers. So that is that. Now to adhere any type of wheel that you're going to put onto your uh, car, you're going to need some type of icing. So we just have this white tube of Wilton icing. You can get this at grocery stores as well. So we're going to be using this kind of like acting like a glue and it's going to adhere the wheels to the side of the Twinkie to create the car. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to take one of your Twinkies and you're just going to take off the wrapping. All right, so there's our Twinkie out of the package. That's the first step. Right, next up, make sure you get your parents' help and permission to do this if you do use anything in the kitchen. I, since I'm here helping Lammy, am going to take a knife to cut out where the peep is going to sit down into here. Or if you don't want to use a knife, you could use a spoon because Twinkies are so soft. So, because I'm helping Lammy, I can deal with using a knife. I'm going to cut into the Twinkie enough to create like a seat. So we're just kind of cutting out this chunk of the Twinkie. So see how that looks? That is creating the seat for the peep to sit in. All right, so now I pulled apart one of the peeps and the peep just sits down inside here like this. And you can kind of give it a good push because what'll happen is it will stick to the icing that's inside of the Twinkie. So there he is. Okay, next up I took one of those icing flowers and I'm gonna stick that right in front of the peep because that acts as his steering wheel, like that. So that will be his steering wheel. Next up, you're going to take your icing and you are going to put a little bit of icing on the back of each flower and stick it on the sides for wheels. So I'm just going to take this, stick a little bit of icing on the back there, and that's going to act like a glue to hold these wheels onto the Twinkie, like that. So now I need to do three more. Now, like I said before, you could use cookies, mini, those really small mini Oreos would work perfect for this. That would be great. Um, some of the pictures online show that you can use a marshmallow Use uh, marshmallows cut in half to make this. You just spin your plate around. I'm gonna put this wheel right there. And one more. And we will have all four wheels on. All right, Lammy, this is turning out to be adorable. Aw, Mom, it's fantastic. But wait, we're not done. All right, guys, one more thing we're going to do is add our sprinkles to the front of the car. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a little bit more of our icing, and I am going to put it on the back of a couple of these little flowers. This is tricky because the flowers are pretty small, but I'm going to do my best. So a little bit of icing on the 
back of the flower and I'm going to stick that right on the front. Oh, Mom, it's going to look like headlights, pink headlights. That's fantastic. All right, guys, there you go. They're on the front of the car. And I'm going to take some of the other colors, like the yellow and the white, and I'm going to put those, put a little bit of icing on the back of those, and I'm just going to stick those on the front of the car so it looks like, um, you know, just a decorated little spring car. Oh, man, this is adorable. Yep, it sure is. Oh, this is fantastic, Mom. Yep, it's turning out very cute. Now, guys, this is taking me no time at all to do this. It's such a simple little thing to do, and it's cute for Easter, and you could have a whole plate of these out for an Easter brunch or breakfast or just snacks for later on in the day. I'm going to put two more on the back here. I'm going to put two on the back here for, like, tail lights. Oh, this is fabulous. Yep, all right. There's our tail lights in the back of our car. Lammy, what do you think? I think this is adorable, you guys. Mom, do a close-up. All right, there we are, guys. So now you can see the car up close. So the wheels are stuck on with icing. We have our tail lights. So the wheels just look like flowers, and there's the steering wheel right there. We just decorated the car, got our headlights that are pink to match the bunny, and this turned out super cute. Alrighty guys, leave me a comment below and let me know if you think this is adorable for Easter. <laughs> I think it is. Have you guys ever made this before? Anyway, let me know in a comment below what you think. I really care about what you have to say. Also, be sure to subscribe. I will have more videos coming. Also, follow me on all of my social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And those links are in the description box below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Happy Easter. Vroom.